I'm going to create a block um, with uh, an attribute now. I'm going to set my layer to the zero layer. Very important that you set it to the zero layer. I'll draw a circle with a 0.5 um, uh, radius, one foot diameter. I'm going to draw a line from the center of this guy out. And then I'm going to use grips to move this into the center so it looks like that. And I'm going to use the trim command, TR, to trim it away. And I'm going to say that this is, let's say, a utility pole symbol that I'm going to create. I also want to add an attribute. And an attribute is something editable that can keep information um, uh, as part of the block. So I go, I say uh, att def, and it's attribute definition, and I'll just call this tag, not super important. Prompt, uh, enter info, not super important. Um, and I'm going to say the alignment is going to be the center. Uh, the dim is fine, the size is fine, and the rotation is fine. And I'm going to lock the position. Um, and the rest of these are fine. I'm going to specify it on the screen. And so I'm going to place it right here, right in the center here. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. And now this, this tag can be part of this block. And I'll show you how that is created and how that works. So then I say block, and I say uh, uh, say power pole uh, utility. The insertion point I want to be the center of this pole, and the selected items I want to grab everything. And when I do that, now it allows me to put. Um, some information into that that um, that attribute that was there. So now, if I select this and I move it over here, wherever I move it, that attribute goes along with it. And so, if I want to edit that attribute, let's say that this is a not electric but a, like a joint pole, I can double click on that attribute and say uh, joint utility, whatever I want there. Say apply. And now this attribute has been changed to, to JU uh, from util. And if I want to change it again, I can say power pole or whatever I want to here. And so that's a pretty powerful thing. Because I created it on the zero layer, I can then move this to a, um, uh, I think there's a temp temp layer that when I when I jump this to it, because I created it on the zero layer, if I place it on the temp layer, it accepts the temp line type and color. And so um, let's see, I may have I may have multiple PQRST. Um, Tin temp. I guess I guess I don't. I thought I did. But anyway, because you created it on the zero layer, any layer that this resides on will uh, it will accept its the the current layer's color and line style.